Wait, these edits are going crazy. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? Is that a Mario? I like where this is going. I feel like I'm on drugs right now. <laughs> that was literally a trip. Wait, he did a better job than me. Today I'm reacting to your car edits, but I'm joined with a special guest, Hayden Creative, who is an insane car content creator. He shoots videos with a one wheel, which I haven't seen before. And his color grading techniques are oh, beautiful. So strap in, because this one's going to be a banger. So with that being said, uh, is that a Mario? <laughs> <laughs> oh that was so short it was short but the thing is it was it was like simple but it was clean it did what it needed to do do you know what i liked is when he brought up the uh the pipe he blurred the background i would imagine some people they would have forgot to do that but it's a nice detail we're focusing now on the pipe on the car so i'd give it like a three three and a half yeah 3.5 Mario's. <laughs> uh, Craig, I speak to this guy on Instagram. Bring horizontal video back. Ooh. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> I feel like I'm on drugs right now. That was literally a trip. I don't know where I expected that to go, but that, that wasn't it. Why do you think he did that? I think this is some 3D software. He made the hoops and then the camera's going around. And then... I don't even know. Now. This is the best part. Boom. Cuts to the actual car driving. Like, that's insane. That was so good. Yeah, top notch. A 4.1 Audi rings. All right, I'll let you choose. I'm going to scroll and you just say stop. Stop. Fresh edit from my local car meet. Ooh, whoa. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Wait, these edits are going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> Damn. I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea what I was looking at for probably half of that. <laughs> Technically speaking, it was cool. The thing is, this type of video is good because I'm gonna go back and watch it again a couple of times just to be like, that's true. Like, what was that? What was that? The Saber outline color change, I had a tutorial on that and he did a really good job. The one thing that weirded me out was like, what was the truck? <laughs> I, was, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> just crazy. Oh, look, look, I didn't even know to look at the floor. That was pretty crazy. I think technically speaking, you know, you spent a lot of time on it, could work. Obviously took a lot of time and like requires a lot of skill to edit. In terms of understanding, I just don't know what to understand. It's more of a chaotic edit. I think with solid 3.5 out of 5 skulls. YL. It's so short. Yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of these long intros, I can't lie. I love the edit. This is an example of a clean edit. Yeah, I really like the color grade on it. It's like a nice teal and orange type of feel. Very well done. I mean, all the transition stuff are clean. All, everything moves in the right direction. Good amount of motion blur and stuff. I, I'd give that one solid. 4.1. 4.1 out of 5. Shines. Just switched from mobile to After Effects. This is my first edit on PC. Day 7 of using AE. Okay, first frame. I like where this is going. <laughs> okay, we got a dog edit. Nice. Is it FPV drone? Yeah, yeah, that drone. is a drone. Did you see it? That's sick. That was pretty dope. <laughs> that was a cool little kick. It would be nice if it was looking down a bit so you really see the kick in the middle. It's not bad. Keep going, man. I'm excited to see what you do. It's better than my first edit in After Effects. <laughs> my first mask in After Effects work. There's a lot to improve upon, but it was really clean for what it is. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll give you like a solid 3.4 little doggies out of 5. Okay, for people that don't know, I really think this is using your footage pack. Yeah, it definitely is. Caden dropped a Eclipse pack. I'll leave the link below to that if you're interested. You know, you're the only guy I know that films with a one wheel. Oh, it's so much fun, dude. That one wheel is the best thing I've ever bought. Shameless one wheel plug here. I need to get sponsored. Yo, this is fun. That was a sick edit. That was sick. I like the flow of it. I like the sounds. You know, the effects are not overbearing, but they actually help take you through the edit. It's a lot like my style. I like 
less effects and more like I focus on the camera movement and the flow. Literally the only differences between like this edit and like the type of stuff I do is I usually do a little bit harder on the color grade and add like an S-Glow. I think my speed ramps are just a tiny bit more like soft. These ones are more aggressive, but it's cool. Like it fits the song really well. I'll give this one probably like a 4.3. Ashwin's Motography. I like the S-Glow and the highlights. Yep. Oh. Nice. That was sick. Nice. Yo, that was, that was alright. That was super clean. My favorite part was flicker on the headlight. That was clean. I love it when the sound design matches. I like the color grade on it. Color grade was great with the S-Glow. You can shoot in like super harsh conditions and when you can put the glow on it, it just makes it look like pristine again. Yeah, it gives it the style. I'd give that one like a 3.8. I'm gonna give it a 3.9 GTR. CZX CJ. He's new. Welcome, welcome. There we go. It's kind of a cool effect. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is kind of like your style. Oh yeah, the track was so clean all the way around it. That's the type of stuff I live for. It's like the long tracks. My only comment is that the motion blur, you use I think CC force. It kind of puts the layers next to each other. It's not an actual blur. It's more of a layers back to back. So you get this kind of faded look. You can see the outline. I give it like a four, four and a half. I thought it was sick. I like that cool. one Cool, four and a half Ducatis. This footage is just so great. The shots are sick. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. The one thing I see, even with like people that have used the stuff I put up is I shoot it on S-Log3 and it takes a lot to color grade it and make it look realistic. There's just no, literally no color on this. I would love to see a bit more motion blur. Something about the speed ramps seems a little bit off that needs improvement. They're not ramped very well. He doesn't ramp to the cut, he just cuts. So here, so that's just, that was just a cut, then a cut. You should speed up to a cut and then speed down from a cut. That's gonna give it a more of a hidden transition. I give it like a three, yeah. I think that's like right mid. Three out of five. Let's see this. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. You know what? Respectful. I like that it wasn't just clips of the car. Like when you transition to putting it into gear and driving, that took it up like a whole like production level. I didn't know what was going on with the, the second clip. I may, bro. It looks like there was some kind of typhoon going on behind the car or something. It's kind of trippy. I'm going to go like 2.9. 2.9 2 to 3. This badges. This one says, so as a joke, dot, dot, dot. You have my interest. Oh, that's my footage. Ooh. Oh, wait, he did a better job than me. <laughs> Not bad. Did a decent job. I'd say the, the colors. Almost looks like we have like an underwater filter or something. So I would try and bump the colors up, saturation. Some of the speed ramps are a little bit jarring because they don't go in like a perfect like semicircle. Yeah, I think I just shot it for smaller orbits, but he actually used a lot of the, the shots. I mean, he actually made it look cleaner. <laughs> no, I did. I want to go on your page because I want to ask some questions about your videos. Question time. Which has been your favorite in the last few edits? Oof. I like shooting uh, my buddy Jaden's GTR. So everything I've done with that one, I post it all the time because I think it's the car is fun. He lets me drive it all the time, so I get to drive it to the shoots and shoot it all. Me personally, I did like this one, but low key, I like this one. Yeah. I thought this was pretty decent because you also change different places. Mm hmm. I wanted this one to be like a mashup of all the cars that we have out here. One of the things that sticks out from you specifically is the sound design. I mean, literally, I mean, look at that. Yeah, people love the sound design one. This one is blown up pretty good. So good. When you do these one shot 
kind of robot type moves do you plan them beforehand because i always tell people to think about where you're going beforehand all the time because whenever i do shoot these things i usually like someone will want to be with me and i've got friends out here that want to do video and do photography and stuff and they're always like oh that was a good shot and i'm like oh i'm not even recording yet because i'll sit and like walk the shot like two or three times before i even hit record it really shows because you have some really cool constant movement shots it's cool to look at this and then to see like the one that i just barely put out and to see the difference it looks less smooth i took the same exact clips did a better color grade did better movement after effects and it makes it a whole different but it's the same footage yeah that's the crazy thing night and day look at the difference <laughs> people can follow you on Caden creative you do clip packs well i really appreciate you coming man of course of course always good to be with daddy cammy daddy cammy <laughs>